everyone! In today's tutorial we will demonstrate a rather unknown but very very useful function called Auto Trigger. This function has a lot of potential and I promise once you know it you're not gonna want to live without it anymore. What it does is, as in this example where we have this mouse layover upon start of the tour, the auto trigger function will automatically hide it without us interfering at all. Simply after a couple of seconds it'll disappear. Or as you can see, we initially don't have any hotspots on here, but if I click on this button, they'll show. This button also has the action auto trigger assigned, but the other way around, which means it automatically hides the hotspots upon start of the panorama and only when I click on it, they'll show up. Basically, anything that you would want to take place automatically after a certain time is what Auto Trigger will do for you. Let's have a look. Inside 3D Vista VT Pro, where I already have a panorama imported, in fact, in this case, it's a live panorama which changes from day to night. So the first thing is to go to the skin tab and we add the mouse image. I'll use the right hand side to insert my parameters and thus be sure that the image is always centered. Then we go to add action and look for auto trigger at start, which means that any action that we assign now will automatically be performed upon start of the panorama, so without interaction all by itself. In our case we choose show height component. We want it to hide or go away automatically. We select the image we just added, which is the one we want to make disappear. And I want to set a transition time of 3 seconds, for example. And let's see what we just did here in the preview. And with a 3 second transition, the image automatically disappears. Good. Now. Let's do it slightly more sophisticated and have the image stay on screen for 5 seconds before slowly disappearing. Therefore, the first thing is to hide the image by default, so tick here until the eye icon disappears. And in hide component, what we will do is the first action that the auto trigger should provoke is to show the mouse image. And with this option down here, we tell it to return to the original state, which in our case is hidden because we click the eye icon away, after 5 seconds. Done. And let's try it out. The image appears, stays for 5 seconds and then slowly fades away with a 3 second transition, which we gave it before. Okay, let's get on to the second use case. So you may know that right now there is no button or setting that allows us that a panorama when starting to play won't show the hotspots that it contains, meaning that all hotspots in a panorama are hidden upon start and will only show when the user clicks on a button, for example. But with this option, you can do that. So we add a button, a button that I created outside of VT Pro and I import it. We will set this button to toggle so that one state of it will be to show and the other state will be to hide. So for both actions, I will click the same button much like you might be used to with mute buttons. Then we add the action, the auto trigger at start. And the next action, so the action that the button should execute automatically when I enter the tour or panorama, will be to hide the hotspots so that when I start the tour, the hotspots are invisible. This is in media control and toggle hotspot visibility. And this is important, this toggle function will only show up in this list if your button is in toggle mode. So if you're not seeing this, that might be why. Let's try it. See? At start we don't see any hotspots and only when we click on the button here, they'll appear. So this is a very clever little function that leaves your panoramas more clean and with less things happening right at the start, while still giving tremendous interactivity options and information. Thanks for watching.